Hello, I am Dr. Rajalakshmi. I will interact with you on transformation. What? Social transformation, economic transformation, cultural transformation, educational transformation and political transformation finally leads to transformation of scenario of the village that is rural transformation. Is it? How? Where is the channel? The powerful channel is guess what it will be that is Gram Sabha and 73rd Amendment. So today I will discuss about you on genesis of Gram Sabha, definition of uh, Gram Sabha, functions of Gram Sabha, composition of Gram Sabha, what's people participation, social audit, what are all the re factors responsible for failure of Gram Sabha. So what are the way how we can strengthen the Gram Sabha then 73rd amendment what is it what are the salient features of 73rd act you may wonder what is there under Gram Sabha don't think it's a Gram Sabha Gram Sabha is a sun moon star mountain oxygen for rural India without light air water it is not possible to lead human life like that Gram Sabha is all in all for rural development okay let me come to the point you have heard about n number of things about democracy India is the largest democracy of the world villages are the backbone of our economy hence village community should be made happy self-sustained and function effectively since ancient times in our culture villages are the basic unit of administration the great social reformer transformer skd said that the first step of reconstructing and rebuilding of india the works initiated from the villages a father of india mahatma gandhi strongly expressed that the first thing in the world is a democracy the true democracy starts from villages hence he said that i would like to go to village and live in the villages that real india my india so whatever you may call for everything history genesis origin is there now you should know about the origin of gram sabha yes after independence the community development and national extension service were implemented by government with people participation however the feedback of these programs indicated that people participation was lagging behind you have heard about ndc national development council national development council constituted a committee under the chairmanship of Dr. Balwant Rai Mehta to study on Gram Sabha. The committee submitted its recommendation that the Gram Sabha would be able to function into full-pledged institution to act influence of all decision and action of Panchayat. Democracy at the top level never will be successful one unless otherwise it was planned and built from by bottom level. The relationship of Panjayat and Gram Sabha is a cabinet and assembly. Life will not be a permit with affects sustained by the bottom level. The main objective of Panjayat Raj institution is to strengthen the base of democracy at grassroots level on the one hand and another hand to share the power and responsibility by people and also allow them to manage their own affairs in efficient and effective manner at the maximum. In order to ensure people participation in developmental program, inevitable change is required that we can enhance through Gram Sabha. Okay, people in rural area must be powerful in mobilizing all forms of resources such as physical, economical and spiritual to perform the service for the common cause. During Rig Veda period, around 1200 BC, there were village sabha and gromics concentrated the welfare of villages. 
Therefore, Gram Sabha was not a new concept. It was rooted in a tradition and exercised the power based on religious values and customs. In our previous lesson, you have learned about Panchayat Raj. Panchayat Raj is a way of life and new approach to government. Panchayat Raj establishes the linkage between the people from Gram Sabha to the Lok Sabha and a democratic system. Gram Sabha is the cornerstone of the Panchayat Raj institution. Don't think it is the cornerstone. It may be in the corner, but it is the foundation, fundamental base. So, you can tell it is the axis and engine, etc. I think you have seen the village vehicle called Bullock Cart and modern car, n number of cars, and so on and on. The vehicle is big, but the part is very small. Without it, the vehicle cannot move one step forward. Now, you understood the importance of Gram Sabha. So, Gram Sabha is a rural engine. The great economist and Nobel laureate Amartya Sen's quotation indicated that the success of democracy not only depends on the institution forms that are adopted but also on the vigor of practice. The political changes for people around the world today is not just to replace authoritative regimes with democratic ones. Beyond this, it is to make democracy work for ordinary people. Democracy working for ordinary people is a Gram Sabha. Now, let me come to the main part of interaction. Is it working? Shall I proceed? You have heard about n number of messages about Gram Sabha. What is it? Come on, in bird's eye view, let me tell you. What is Gram Sabha? Right. A tool available at local market leads to empower rural community by raising the rights, queries, exercise the duties of citizen to create corruption free India known as Gram Sabha. Those who wants to use this tool take part at Gram Sabha convened by the village panchayat and watch it. Everything is progressive under the guidance and direction formulated by the government, irrespective of religion, caste, greed, everybody is getting equal opportunity to participate at Gram Sabha and avail the freedom for speech, etc. Who is falling under and above 18 years residing in the jurisdiction is eligible to participate in the Gram Sabha. Gram Sabha is also acting as a social gathering and networking tool to meet the community through this occasion and work for common interest and cause by teamwork towards upward development of the village community. Gram Sabha become local court in order to maintain social control at grassroots level, solving the immediate problems, providing relief measures to ensure better quality and standard of living for the rural community. Gram Sabha provides platform for the local community to aware of various programs, projects implemented by the Gram Panchayat and government at their doorstep or vicinity. Definition of Gram Sabha as per the article 243b, a body consisting of person registered in the electoral rules relating to a village comprised within the area of a panchayat. It is a village and assembly to make the people join together to take collective decision in order to enhance, empower and develop the village through holistic approach. Gram Sabha consisted of the members residing in the village above the age of 18 which is governed by Gram Panchayat. Gram Sabha is a tool for empowering rural people, particularly poorest among the poor, weaker section, oppressed and depressed village community. Gram Sabha is a forum to meet and organize discussion for common problems about needs and aspiration of the community and ensuring transparency and accountability. In Bible, the quotations stated that those who knock the door 
they will get it so like that those who participate in gram sabha so what they want they will get it gram sabha is a akshaya patra for the down trodden and make use of it then what is the meaning of gram sabha gram means village sabha means meeting so the meeting takes place so many sabhas are functioning at high tech style whereas gram sabha is functioning in humble and simple manner for the sustainability of rural india meeting will be held in the common place and discuss on the societal development by way of dialogue interaction and participation people does not require money it needs only people's will mind and heart to express concern for other fellow human being next part of discussion is composition of gram sabha the official from trda block development office panchayat secretary they are all the official members of the gram sabha whereas panchayat president sarpanch vice presidents ward councillors and village people or non official members so in film production that consist of a team producer directors technician musician hero heroine and they produce film whereas in this the important persons or audience likewise in gram sabha producer is drda official director is block development official panchayat secretary is a cameraman president is a musician hero heroine audience or the village people gram sabha is a epitome of indian village it gives valuable inputs gram sabha play a watchdog role in the village panchayat the size of gram sabha varies from state to state gram sabha meeting should be presided by the sarpanch or president of gram panchayat so why i am using two words sarpanch president so in some part the leader called sarpanch in other place they called president okay in case sarpanch or president's absence due to unavoidable circumstances the vice president should preside the gram sabha the panchayat secretary is entirely responsible for organizing the gram sabha secretary duty is to prepare the resolution placed before gram panchayat frequency of gram sabha earlier every gram panchayat should convene the gram sabha twice in a year at present it is a mandatory to conduct four times in a in year apart from this gram panchayat may organize additional meetings in case of emergency of gram sabha as per the notification rules reference government of india guidelines number j 11011 bar 80 bar 2001 media dated 8th december 2011 that means so based on the emergency the sarpanch may convene additional meeting the ministry of rural development and panchayat raj had organized conference in delhi on 13th may 1998 the resolution taken from the conference stated that the union government advised all union territory and state government gram sabha must meet at least once in every quarter on republic day 26th january labor day 1st may independence day 15th august and gandhi jayanti 2nd october the gram sabha date is fixed the panchayat must keep the announcement in front of the gram sabha office regarding the date importance of people participation and functions of gram sabha in order to motivate the village community to participate in gram sabha what is the eligibility to attend gram sabha do you know about it 18 years so in village we use the term major one person though those who became a major they can attend the gram sabha so 18 years and above are eligible to attend gram sabha who can participate in gram sabha residency of the concerned panchayat you should know the difference between eligibility and participation eligibility means the criteria participation means 
who are all then venue of gram sabha so the gram sabha should be convened in the village at the common places example schools community hall panchayat office then the ground then agenda what are the things should be discussed in gram sabha expenditure incurred by the village panchayat for various programs and projects then proposed budget estimation for the further work to be carried out in the gram panchayat then accounts and auditor statement then another thing is criteria for selection of the beneficiary so government of india and the rural development they have introduced n number of program for the people in the rural area so for that how to select the beneficiary so there is a criteria for selection of the beneficiary so based on that criteria only the gram panchayat should select the beneficiary then list of beneficiary selected they should maintain the record who are all the beneficiary and a various program then another thing is permission to lease the forest land then another one is records and registers such as minute notebook account notebook audited report beneficiary record then completed work record okay so all these are clear to you in gram sabha so what is the criteria who can attend who uh, who can participate what is the eligibility so what are all the records to be placed under the gram sabha then agenda meant for gram sabha i think you have understood all these things okay well another thing is work is workshop guess what is it you may call it in various form function duties responsibility so now i will discuss about you with duties functions and responsibility of gram sabha the first functions of gram sabha is examine annual statement of accounts and audit report second thing is discuss report on administration of the preceding years then another function is review program of work for the year or any new program then another function is consider proposal for fresh taxation or for enhancement of existing taxes another function is select schemes beneficiaries and their location then mobilize voluntary labor and contribution in kind and cash for community welfare program then promote unity and harmony among all sections of the society that's what they are organizing gram sabha so through social gathering they can establish social harmony in locality in their locality in the village then gram sabha should identify and select beneficiary for poverty alleviation and other programs another function is acquisition of land for development projects and rehabilitation or or resettlement of person affected by such projects in selected area has to be done in consultation with either the gram sabha or panchayat at appropriate level power to regulate and restrict sale and consumption of liquor note it manage village markets control money lending to sts and ownership of minor forest produce every year is marked for the particular cause so like that government of india marked the year 1999 2000 has year of gram sabha so through this government of india made everybody should talk about gram sabha during the year 2010 the government of india constituted national level award award called rashtriya gaurav gram sabha prashkar award for outstanding performance of gram sabha the objective of this award is to strengthen the institutions of gram sabha and to highlight it as the institution for decision and so social audit for this award state level committee should nominate the person who deserve for that the important parameter being used to shortlist the award nomination is video graphing of gram sabha proceedings to promote further transparency and assist for ascertaining women participation and involvement decorum maintain and verification of the issues now look at the reason for the failure of gram sabha lack of people participation no time that means people are not interested to participate because of their earlier experience and views expressed by others attitude of bureaucracy lack of motivation from leaders require enough publicity lack of confidence among people lack of power to raise question false consciousness low status and low social groups 
interaction restricted by sarpanch material dependent of the people next part is social audit what is social audit one need not to study the accountancy to participate in social audit even layman can take part and ask the financial allotment meant for each schemes and program how much amount the president is incurred for various program in what way and mean and ask the sarpanch to show the account everything takes place in the village in front of all socially that is why it is called social audit this concept is not a new thing it was introduced in panchayat that too in gram sabha since independent recently in all sector the government corporate sectors adopting and practicing the concept of social audit the best the best example is narega now you have to apply the swot at gram sabha the flow chart explains the strength weakness opportunity and threats of gram sabha so you go through the flow chart you will get the knowledge and information on gram sabha now you can see the myths of gram sabha in the screen how to strengthen the gram sabha the first measure is intensive measure should be taken to educate motivate people about their rights and duties the second thing is campaign and publicity can be done through television and radio to ensure maximum attendance the village panchayat block samit and jilla parishad should respect the decision and views expressed by gram sabha if gram sabha views are not followed means the gram panchayat should give the reason for non compliancy to the gram sabha the gram sabha in the year 1989 the 64th constitutional amendment bill on local government was intru- introduced by rajiv gandhi's government it was defeated to issues constitutional sanction to pri during narasimha rao government the constitutional amendment act 1992 was introduced with provisions the 73rd act clearly emphasized the aspects such as structure function finance planning machineries powers to elected members etc now in screen you can see the salient features of 73rd amendment now i am concluding my session gram sabha and 73rd amendment are interrelated both cannot separate because how the brain and heart are linked if one get referred it affects other organ like that in order to make effective functioning of gram sabha the 73rd act originated from gram sabha and 73rd act safeguarded gram sabha from death therefore being young student you must participate in all government endeavor and play major role to march forward towards national development and motivate the rural community to participate in gram sabha and create holistic self sustain create holistic self sustain and self sufficiency rural india